Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Pilgrim's very new hair care range. It's called the Patua and Keratin hair care range. It does consist of a lot of products and I have my favorites right here in front of me that I'm going to be reviewing for you. Now I've used these products for over a month because they were sent to me much before they were launched. I was sent the entire hair care range and I'm going to be reviewing each and every product we're going to be talking about how these products actually feel on the hair and how do they feel in terms of texture, just about everything. I'm also going to show you application of how my hair felt before and after. Without further ado, let's quickly dive right into this video. If you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Do also make sure you hit the notification bell. Do also follow me on my Instagram and now let's dive right into it. All these products are from the Amazon Rainforest hair range and the key ingredients in this range are Patua from the Amazon Rainforest and Keratin. Now this hair care range is actually specifically targeted to dry frizzy hair which is exactly my hair have been for a while now so I'm always looking for hair care products that are extremely nourishing for my hair shampoos that are not stripping on the strands of my hair just cleanses my scalp shampoos with gentle surfactants that's what i'm going to be talking about first i'm going to share with you the hero product of this line which i have used so much of really enjoyed using this product and it is their patua and keratin smoothening shampoo for dry and frizzy hair really like the fact that it cleanses your scalp thoroughly really well it lathers really well it's uh, it has three very gentle surfactants which i'm going to come to but it genuinely lathers well, cleanses your scalp really well without stripping the strands of your hair of natural oils. Now what happens is when you use a shampoo which has very harsh surfactants, of course you do need surfactants because surfactants are cleansing agents. If you don't cleanse your scalp properly, it will just have a lot of buildup. You will end up having dandruff and a lot more other things which you don't want. So you do need a shampoo that cleanses well but doesn't strip off the length of your hair and just generally your hair of natural oils. This shampoo is formulated with three gentle surfactants like sodium cocyl isethionate which is derived from coconut oil and is sulfate free, cocamidopropyl betaine commonly found in face washes and sodium lauryl sarcostinate. We do also have Ceronoa serolata fruit extract which is a botanical ingredient and is known for its potential benefits for hair health. Now this shampoo also has argan oil and we have a star ingredient here called patua fruit oil which is derived from palm trees native to Amazonia which is considered to have conditioning properties on your hair. And lastly we have hydrolyzed keratin which is essentially a large protein molecule which is broken down to penetrate well in the hair cuticle. Overall I feel it's a great shampoo on budget, you get a good quantity, doesn't strip out your hair, smells really well and does the job of cleansing really well. My next product would be especially for the monsoon season and for dry frizzy hair, a leave-in conditioner. A leave-in conditioner is a product that you can leave in your hair, you actually apply it in dull dried hair. And they do have a product in their line and I was very, very interested to try that out because it really tames frizz. I have used a couple of leave-in conditioners. If you want me to review my favorite ones, please leave me a comment in the comment section. The one that I have here is the Patua leave-in conditioner with amino acids and hydrolyzed protein. Now the way to use a product like this, the leave-in conditioner, is that it comes in a spray format like you see here. You basically spray it on your towel dried hair and then just leave it on. If you want, you can massage it a little bit but not really need it. It works like magic on hair if it really is well formulated. This one doesn't weigh your hair down. If you are someone who has fine hair and frizzy at the same time, this is the kind of product that will really nourish the length of your hair. Do make sure that you do not use this on the scalp. None of the conditioners, none of the hair masks are for the scalp. The scalp only uses shampoo for cleansing. The length of your hair, the strands basically, use a product like this or a hair serum. So all you do is you hold your hair and you spray it on. Now this is a product which is lightweight as well, doesn't feel heavy or greasy and tames frizz so you can definitely try it. The next product in this line is the hair serum. This has a batawa fruit oil, it has hydrolyzed castor oil and like the name suggests this has sodium hyaluronate. The name of the product is Patua Hyaluronic Acid Smoothening Serum. Now this is one of the most lightweight hair serums that I've used. So after applying the leave-in conditioner, 
you can definitely go in with this it does not feel heavy or greasy on the hair truly this is one of the most lightweight hair serums i've used even will work on fine hair if you have fine frizzy hair but if you have extremely dry hair extremely frizzy hair this may not help you that much but if you like a lightweight hair serum like me this is definitely a product that i've really really enjoyed using now of course the way to use this product which is a hair serum is exactly like you use any other product any other hair serum you will take a little bit on your palms and then you're going to rub in between your palms and just smoothen out the frizz like this. You don't have to massage the length of your hair a lot, but just make sure you're very gently going into the sections. And what I do is whatever is left, I just massage the crown of my hair just like that. You of course want to make sure that it's not going in your scalp, but if you just want to take the leftover to settle down the frizz, on top of your head on the ground section for me then i just take a little bit and then i just settle down the frizz like this i do like using my hair serums uh even after my hair is dry so i did use this a little bit this morning as well when i woke up because in the monsoon season my hair tend to get really really frizzy uh, so this is very lightweight and you can barely tell that there is any hair serum on dry hair. Ideally use your hair serum on damp hair but this one I feel can definitely be used on dry hair too. The next product is something that I like to use in my hair care routine at least once a week or once in 10 days and that is a good hair mask and I'm always looking for hair masks with argan oil. You will generally see that uh, hair masks with argan oil really make a lot of difference because argan oil has the tendency of smoothening it has conditioning properties. The one that I have here is the Patua and Keratin Smoothening Hair Mask. Again, the entire range is to defrizz your hair of a dry and damaged hair. Now, the way I like to use this product is I would take a good amount depending on the length of your hair. And again, this is not for your scalp. Only for the length of your hair, I massage it nicely on the length of my hair and then I leave it on for about 5 to 10 minutes and then just wash off with plain water. Again, I don't use a hair mask every time I wash my hair. I use it uh, once a week or once in 10 days, especially in the monsoon season. I do use it once a week because my hair tend to get really, really frizzy and dry. Uh, so if you are someone who's looking for a good mask, hair mask, a conditioning hair mask like this, you can definitely try this. Now this has, other than argan oil, we have batua fruit oil and hydrolyzed keratin. Essentially several hair nourishing and conditioning and softening ingredients which I like to use um, on once a week basis is there in this product. So definitely give this one a go. Also definitely a product which is on budget. Now my last recommendation is completely optional uh, and this is only for people who have dryness, itchiness or if you have dandruff on your scalp. This is a product that you can use but it's an exfoliating product so make sure you're using it only once a week. What I have here is the Patua and AHA BHA scalp scrub. Just like any other scalp scrub, this also is a pre-shampoo treatment. What you do is you apply it on your scalp, it has a nozzle like this. So it can go directly on your scalp and then you can just massage your scalp very nicely. Leave it on there, leave the product on there for about 5 to 10 minutes, good enough for its foliation and then wash off. Now this is formulated with salicylic and glycolic acid. That's why I said only if you have build up, product build up on your scalp, you have dandruff, itchiness or any kind of flakiness on your scalp, this can really uh, help get rid of that. Sometimes because I heat style my hair, I tend to use some kind of sprays. I do get a little bit of dandruff or a little bit of buildup on my scalp. So I like to use this kind of a product once a month, to be honest with you. And I've used this product only twice since the time I had uh, I received it in PR. Very, very happy with the results. And I have used scalp scrubs in the past. It works really well, does the job really well. But when using a product like this, see if you actually need it. If you don't have buildup, you don't have any of these concerns, you don't actually need a product like this. But if you do, this can be really, really helpful. And after you've used this, you will just wash off very nicely under the shower and then you're going to go ahead and use any gentle shampoo of your choice. Use code PJ Chitali to get a free leave-in conditioner on buying the shampoo. For any other product, use code Chitali15 to get 15% off shop on discoverpilgrim.com 
So guys, with that, it's a wrap. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any hair care video suggestions for me, if you have any requests of any videos that you want me to do, please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to film it for you. Please do remember whether or not I reply to your comments because sometimes there are many to reply to and many a times they fall through the cracks. I am definitely reading all of your feedback and all of your comments with all my heart and I love all the feedback that you guys send across my way. So please keep sending that. All of that is being taken into account. Until I see you next guys, thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Bye-bye.